Now 630 and we are following breaking news out of Westmobile this morning. Authorities on the scene of an accident involving an overturned fire truck, as Michael mentioned. Fox 10 News' Johnny Navarro joins us live at the scene. And good morning, Johnny. What can you tell us? Yeah, good morning, Eric. Like you said, we're here on Schillinger Road where a fire truck has overturned. If you look over my shoulder right now, you can see that crews are working to uh, lift that vehicle off of its side right now. Now, we did hear reports that uh, Sims fire crew were responding to a house fire in this area at the time. Again, no word yet on how uh, the accident occurred um, and, and what caused them to overturn. Um, we do know that there was rain earlier and wet roads so that might have been a probability there. But as you can see, this this crane is trying to lift this fire truck off the side. There is still fire crews on scene right now. Now we did hear that two people were inside that truck. Uh, they were pulled out of the truck uh, from what we were hearing uh, reports on a scanner. So uh, no word yet on their conditions, but hopefully they are OK. I will want to also note that this again, this is Schillinger Road and uh, it is blocked off coming up from both directions. Uh, I had trouble getting here to the scene, so just keep that in mind if you're trying to uh, leave this morning in Schillinger road is your typical route. Uh, you will have trouble currently right now. No word yet on how long this is going to take to clear up right now. So again, vehicles on both sides of Schillinger Road are at a standstill right now. So just keep that in mind. Again, as you can see, they're working their way to lift this truck off of its side, which looks like they're doing that pretty easily right now. Again, we're going to try to get some uh, information on how those uh, those uh, firemen are doing, those two people that were stuck inside, and find out how this accident uh, occurred. But for now, live in Westmobile, Gianni Navarro, Fox 10 News.